Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again. Today we're doing another edition in my series where I'm counting down my favorite bands from a specific country. So for this one, I did take a poll. The viewers have spoken with the astounding percentages. Almost half the votes were for Germany. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite metal bands from Germany. There's so many bands that I could list here. Obviously, Germany has a very vast metal scene within tons of different subgenres. They've got tons of great power metal bands, thrash metal bands, black metal bands, just traditional heavy metal, death metal, folk metal. You name it, Germany has it. So, I mean, I could have easily done like 50 to 75 bands here. I've tried to cut it down so this isn't an hour-long video, so I'm limiting it to 30. Even that seems like quite a bit but yeah i'm just gonna be running through my favorite 30 german bands since this is such a vast and huge scene there's gonna be a ton of big name bands that i'm not mentioning it doesn't mean i don't like them these are just my favorite 30 at this moment in time but i would always love to hear from you let me know down below what your favorite german metal bands are and if there's any that you can't believe i didn't mention let's get some conversations going always love to do that but yeah so here we go let's just get into this I'll list all these bands down below in alphabetical order, but if you want to see what order I'm ranking them in, you're going to have to stick around and watch this video. So just cracking the list in at number 30, I'm going with Wolf Chant. So this may be one of the more uh, underrated bands on this list, maybe a little more of a lesser known one. They play a very unique blend of like pagan, folk metal, with hints of power metal and death metal, maybe a touch of black metal in there. Kind of everything thrown in the gamut and they just make it their own. Um, they've had some varying quality in their albums over the course of their career, but I really like their early works like Bloody Tales of Disgraced Lands and The Pagan Storm. Those ones are really catchy albums, just a fun listen. If you haven't heard these guys before, definitely go check them out. Up next at number 29, let's go with some epic folk metal with Equilibrium. So yeah, these guys, maybe a good comparison would be a band like Ensephirum. But Equilibrium does it obviously more with a German flair. But really, yeah, another band that maybe I don't love every single album they've put out, but their early stuff is amazing, like Tourist Frontier and Sagas. Absolutely stellar folk metal albums, super epic, awesome stuff. Up next at number 28, more of an underrated one, Scanner. So these guys are a lesser known, like just traditional heavy metal mixed with speed metal, mixed with power metal band. Their album Hypertrace from the late 80s, I think it was 88 or 89, absolute gem of an album, probably for fans of early Halloween, early Blind Guardian, stuff in that vein. If you haven't heard Scanner, definitely at least go check out Hypertrace. It's just absolutely speed, power metal, underrated classic album. Go give them a listen. Up next at number 27, I'm going with Tholkandra. So this is some melodic black metal mixed with melodic death metal. Essentially, this is a dissection tribute band, so if you are into dissection, definitely go check out Tholkandra. They're just paying tributes to their heroes, basically writing music in the exact same style as dissection. And yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Dissection's one of my favorite bands, too. This features Stefan Kummerer, probably more well-known for being in Obscura, but he obviously has a big, vast love for dissection and wanted to put this band together. We've got four albums. They're all very solid. It kind of sat at the beginning, it was essentially pure dissection worship over the course of their career. Like the last couple, they've started to switch it up a little bit while still retaining that sound. They've got started to get their own unique identity. And yeah, all their albums are awesome. Easy addition to this list. Up next, at number 26, let's go with a classic in heavy metal, Warlock. So Warlock probably most well known for featuring Doro on vocals. Absolutely great female vocalist. She obviously went solo after four Warlock albums and put out some solid stuff. She's just a metal legend, metal queen. But man, these early Warlock albums kick ass. Like their debut, Burning the Witches, is really thrashy and it's just super fun to listen to. Pretty much all their stuff is pretty awesome. Like albums like Hellbound, Triumph and Agony maybe start going in a more commercial direction, but there's still some really catchy songs on there. If you haven't heard Warlock before and haven't listened to Doro, do yourself a favor and go check them out. Up next at number 25, let's go with some power metal. There's going to be lots of power metal on this list, but let's go with some right now with Orden Ogan. So yeah, these guys just classic power metal, maybe more of an underrated band. I 
feel like they're somewhat well known but they're not like a giant in the genre but they've got a handful of really solid albums to the end is probably my favorite by them but even their album from last year final days like they're still kicking ass in 2021 and 2022 so definitely go give these guys a listen if you're into power metal at all up next at number 24 let's go with some more classic stuff german legends except so yeah traditional heavy metal whatever you want to call it Absolute Legends features Udo Dirkschneider on vocals, at least earlier, not anymore, but uh, back in the day in their heyday. Got awesome albums like Breaker, Restless and Wild, Balls to the Walls, probably their most well-known album and song, Metal Heart. Like in their heyday, they released a string of just absolutely awesome heavy metal albums, just chocked full of anthems, solid, solid stuff, obviously except had to be on this list. Up next at number 23 is a band I've only recently got into actually based on some recommendations that someone gave me on this channel and that is Imperium. They play a very unique blend of like folk and doom, like symphonic black metal and hints of neo-folk. At least like their first couple albums were more in the metal vein, then they went like pure neo-folk. But uh, yeah, I need to spend more time with these guys for sure. But albums like A Winter Sunset and Songs of Moors and Misty Fields, they're just blowing me away. So once I spend more time with these guys, I mean, there's a good chance that this band would climb this list. They're absolutely amazing, at least the amount that I've listened to so far. But like I said, I'm by no means an expert on this band. It's only recently that I've started listening to them. Up next at number 22, let's switch it up completely with some technical death metal with Necrophagist. So this band, really super influential, only put out two albums and then split up, but yeah, just took like guitar wankery to the next level. It, like what they can do with these songs, it's just absolutely amazing. It's probably not gonna be for everyone. The vocals are very low, but the guitar playing here is super technical, very melodic, but extremely like, it's, it's just great. I'm running out of words here. The drumming is amazing. Just solid, solid band. If you have not heard these guys before, definitely go check out both of their albums. Up next at 21, let's go with a more legendary band, Scorpions. Of course they're going to be on here. German legends. Started out, yeah, whether you're going to classify this as heavy metal or hard rock, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm a big fan of their era from the 70s, like their material in the 70s when they still had Uli Roth on guitar with albums like Taken by Force. Like, go listen to Sales of Charon and tell me that's not an absolutely amazing song. They definitely went a more commercial direction in the 80s, but so many hard rock anthems on albums like Blackout, Animal Magnetism, just oh, absolutely amazing hard rock band. Of course, Scorpions needs to be on any list when you're talking about the best metal or hard rock bands from Germany. Up next at number 20, let's go with some melodic black metal with Dark Fortress. So yeah, these guys, they've definitely had some differing quality in albums over the course of their career and even different styles throughout their career as well. For me personally, I absolutely love their first couple albums. It's not to say I hate their later stuff, but I feel like it doesn't quite match the quality of their first two albums, Tales from Eternal Dusk, Profane Genocidal Creations. Those albums kick so much ass, so melodic, great riffs, absolutely amazing stuff. So if you haven't heard these guys, go check them out, at least those early albums for sure. Up next at number 19, let's go with Dammerfarben. So this is some atmospheric black metal mixed with a little bit of doom metal, neo-folk, acoustic stuff. Probably a good comparison would be a band like Agalock. If you like Agalock, I'm sure you'll get some enjoyment out of Dammerfarben. Their debut album, I'm Abendrot, absolutely amazing. If you have not heard that album, you need to go listen to it right now if you're into this style of music because, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Up next at number 18, let's stick with more black metal with Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult. Try to say that 10 times fast. Absolutely tongue twister of a band name, but wow. Just amazing stuff here. This is fronted by Onilar. She does vocals and guitar, and her voice is so raspy and evil. She wears coarse paint, got blood dripping down her face. Just absolutely amazing. Go check out some of their videos. Um, awesome albums like Nocturnal March, Saldorian Spell. Just, oh, come on. Absolute awesome old school black metal. I love this band in a number 18. Let's go back with some more power metal up next at number 17 with Eternity's End. So these guys, yeah, kind of like a progressive power metal band mixing in some speed metal in there as well. 
This is like an all-star lineup. You got Christian Wenzer on guitar, of course, who has played in Obscura and is just like a guitar wizard. Hannes Grossman on drums, who's been in so many bands. And then like these guys are based out of Germany, but they have brought in vocalist Yuri uh, Sanson from formerly of Hibria from Brazil. So technically the whole band is not from Germany, but I'm still including them on this list because the core of the band is German. And yeah, these guys just absolutely amazing stuff. Their album from last year, Embers of War, actually was in my top 10 albums of last year. Absolutely amazing power metal album. The album before that too, Unyielding, just as good. And even their debut album uh, featured a different vocalist that sounds a lot like Dio actually. And that album kicks ass too. It's a different style than the next two, but all three albums they've done are top notch stuff. Definitely go check them out if you're into power metal. Sticking with more power metal at number 16, I'm going with Thornbridge. So these guys only have two albums so far, more of a like more modern band. Really wear their influences on their sleeves here. Like they've got songs that are pure blind guardian worship, they've got stuff that sounds like Halloween, they've got stuff that sounds like Orden Ogan. So really just bring in all the German power metal legends, but they still do their own thing with it and write really catchy power metal songs. The guitar work is great. I love the vocalist as well. Like everything about this band and their two albums, super top notch. I love both these albums. What Will Prevail, Theatrical Masterpiece. I feel like these guys are a little bit underrated. Not really anyone's talking about them. So if you're into power metal, go check out Thornbridge if you have not heard them yet. Let's stick with more power metal up next at number 15 with Aventasia. So this is more like symphonic power metal, features Tobias Samet from Ed Guy, another great German power metal band. I actually didn't put Ed Guy on this list. They could have been in there. They were hovering around the 30 spot for me, but Aventasia, I feel like it takes it to the next level. While Ed Guy has a couple really solid albums, Aventasia's best albums are better than those in my opinion, like the Metal Opera, absolutely amazing. He always brings in guest vocalists on every album. So you've got different guys singing all the time. Their most recent album, Moon Glow, featured Hansi Kirsch on a couple songs. Amazing. They actually got a new album coming out later this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Definitely not all their albums hit the mark. Like some of them are more even just like in the commercial hard rock vein. But the ones that are more on the power metal side, like the metal opera, those ones are really awesome. And that's why they're in at number 15. Let's switch gears completely here with some folk metal, epic Viking metal, kind of mixing it all together. Finster Force, one of the best in this specific subgenre of metal for sure. Really long, drawn out songs. Maybe a good comparison would be a band like Moon Sorrow. Um, awesome albums like Zoom Todd Hin is probably my favorite by them, but Welton Croft is amazing as well. If you're into epic folk metal, definitely go check out Finster Force. I haven't talked about any thrash bands yet. So let's get to a couple right now. This was really tough for me in the ranking. Which of these next two bands do I like better than the other? I don't know. It's neck and neck. There'd be different albums I like better from each. But for today, in at number 13, I'm going with The Legends Creator. So yeah, just thrash classics here with albums like Endless Pain, Pleasure to Kill, Terrible Certainty. Their string of early albums there, absolutely insane. Love them to death. Um, maybe like their most recent album, it could be considered a little generic, but it's still not bad. It's, it's not terrible, but for me, my favorite era of Creator is their early stuff. And yeah, just a classic thrash band needed to be on this list. So sticking in that theme, up next at number 12 is Sodom. Pretty much everything I just said about Creator, apply it to Sodom as well. Speed metal, thrash metal, definitely these guys had a big influence on early black metal as well with the style of singing with their early albums like Persecution Mania, Agent Orange is a classic as well, Obsessed by Cruelty. Just, yeah, once again, I absolutely love the early era. Maybe the later stuff doesn't stack up as well, but I feel like newer Sodom is still pretty solid. Maybe they're not my favorite albums compared to their stuff in the 80s, but nonetheless, absolutely great thrash band. Had to be high on this list. Up next at number 11, let's switch gears back to black metal with Nargaroth. So one man black metal band put out a bunch of really awesome albums. The debut Herbst Lead, amazing stuff there. Black Metalist Krieg is probably the most well-known album that he put out, but my personal favorite and what I consider to be his classic pinnacle of his career, Yari Zeiten, absolutely amazing, phenomenal album. Goes through all the different seasons and it's just a masterwork of epic drawn out black metal 
Um, really awesome stuff. If you've not heard that album, strongly suggest you go check it out. Now into the top 10. My 10 favorite German metal bands. So just cracking the list at top in number 10. Going with some epic black metal with Moonblood. So yeah, these guys only put out a couple albums and a bunch of demos. But yeah, Blue Ten Krieg, all-time black metal classic. Taste Our German Steel is solid as well. Just really more on the epic side. You can kind of see maybe Immortal took up like kind of similar style on the epic black metal if you're into the more epic side of immortal you'll probably like some of this moonblood stuff as well but yeah can't recommend these guys enough if you're into black metal go check them out switching gears completely for number nine let's go with some epic heavy metal mixed with doom with atlantean codex so this is a more modern band only have three albums to date but they are all absolutely amazing i love this style of epic doom just these guys are one of the best in the field for sure. With the Golden Bow, the White Goddess is probably my favorite by them, and their most recent, The Course of Empire, absolutely amazing as well. Hints of epic bathory mixed in with just classic heavy metal, soaring vocals, just solid, solid stuff. If you're into epic heavy doom, definitely go give these guys a listen if you have not. Number eight, this is a band that's hard to classify. I'll call it folk metal, but there's definitely hints of black metal and Viking metal in there. Falkenbach, absolutely amazing band here. All six albums that, that he's put out, super top notch. My favorite is probably Undire Made Ricky Farah. I cannot pronounce any of these album titles, but yeah, everything he's released is amazing. Definitely go check him out if you're into like awesome folk metal. Up next at number seven, let's go with another classic band with Running Wild. So band that needs no introduction pretty much invented the pirate metal genre but really it's a mix of like traditional heavy metal power metal speed metal whatever you want to label them as it works classic albums like under jolly roger port royal death or glory blazing stone just a stellar career awesome awesome stuff here riffs galore and uh yeah go listen to them if you're into anything that i just said <laughs> Up next at number six, let's go back with some more black metal with Walji Fluster. So this is a more modern black metal band, but I absolutely love them. Everything they've released is very, very solid. This is another band that could probably in some ways be can compared to like Agaloc or Panopticon. Very nature-based. It's got some acoustics in there, some clean singing, but really great raw black metal mixed in there as well. My favorite album by them is Femmons Marka absolute classic and even the follow-up to that mighty fess elm is amazing but really all their other albums are great too also i'm putting them this high on my list i think pretty highly of them so i feel like they're an underrated band if you have not checked them out do yourself a favor and go check them out now into the top five my top five favorite current german metal bands so coming in fifth i'm going with obscura so I mentioned these guys earlier when I was talking about Phil Kandra, Stefan Kummer in this band, and also when I was talking about Eternity's End, because Christian Wenzer is also in this band. So this is like pro progressive technical death metal and just absolutely amazing stuff. A huge death influence for sure. And I mean, death is one of my favorite bands of all time. So anyone that's this highly influenced by them, I'm going to have some interest in that. You can hear some more, but Angel influences in parts. But then they also do their own thing by bringing in like some... Uh, vocoder to give it like this spacey feel as well albums like omnivium and cosmogenesis and even their most recent from last year a valediction they actually kind of brought in like a mellow death feel to it which was different it was a curveball but i absolutely love that album too so yeah that's why they are in at number five up next at number four power metal legends gamma ray so kai hansen after he left halloween went on to form gamma ray and yeah, right out of the gate, their first couple albums maybe weren't quite up to par. Featured Ralph Sheepers on vocals, who went on, uh, he left Gamma Ray to join, uh, I can't think, Primal, Primal Fear. And uh, yeah, like those albums are still decent, but then by the fourth album, he was gone and Kai Hansen took over vocal duties. And while he had done vocals in Halloween on Walls of Jericho, I feel like he really honed his voice here on the Gamma Ray material. He got a little more melodic with it, and I absolutely love his vocals here on an album like Land of the Free, all-time power metal classic, Somewhere Out in Space, Power Plant, No World Order. These are all classic albums by a classic band, easily in my top five for German metal bands. 
On that same note, up next at number three, Halloween. Of course, Halloween is going to be extremely high on this list. Could even be higher than this. The absolute legends in power metal pretty much invented European power metal, arguably. But uh, yeah, when I love the Walls of Jericho era when Kai Hansen was still singing. But then they brought in Michael Kiske for Keepers of the Seven, Key Part 1 and 2. And those albums are so amazing. Power metal staples. Even their most recent album from last year, their self-titled, they got all three vocalists just going at the same time. Absolutely amazing. They had a very long career. Easy addition to my top three. Up next at number two, let's go back with some more black metal. Pagan black metal, this time with Horn. So Horn perfectly brings in little bits of folk metal in with their black metal. One man band, Neroth, and every album he's put out is just awesome this is a flawless discography favorite albums uh de craft du zizenarian i can never pronounce this i apologize but you'll know which one i mean if you know their discography term om hung their newest from this year verzet is probably my favorite by them it's just absolutely a career spanning album got hints of everything in there and i just love this band to death easy choice for me to be this high on my list so that just leaves one, probably no big surprise here if you've watched my channel and know how much of a fanboy I am of this next band. Maybe my shirt gave it away as well, but of course it's Blind Guardian. Without a doubt, one of my favorite bands of all time. Not just one of my favorite German bands, but definitely my favorite German band. Power Metal Legends started out more in the speed metal vein with albums like Follow the Blind, the shirt that I'm wearing. And, but then it became power metal beasts with albums like Somewhere Far Beyond, Imagination from the Other Side, Nightfall in Middle Earth. They've got a new album coming out this September as well, which I'm beyond stoked for. I'm sure I'll do an album review for that when it comes out. But yeah, easy, easy choice here for me for what my favorite German band was. Obviously, it's Blind Guardian. If you haven't listened to them somehow, give your head a shake. Go listen to them. <laughs> but anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. Love to get your thoughts down below. Let me know what your favorite bands are and which ones you can't believe I didn't talk about. But until next time, go hit that subscribe button. Hammer Heart Metal Reviews. Ow.